Hey guys, it's the Real China Sister. I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below. Today, I'm gonna be giving the ladies six ways, six tips on how to keep your kitty cat smelling fresh. Um, I decided to do this topic because, you know, I see it's a trending topic amongst the girl community on YouTube. You know, I love talking about, you know, women hygiene. You know, I did a video on male hygiene. I love talking about girly things that's going to keep the girls popping, you know. Um, in any way that I can help, any tips that I can give, you know. I'm here to do that. So the first thing I want all the ladies to understand is, you know, the vagina is a self-cleaning oven. You know, you really don't have to do much to it to make it clean or to make it, you know, smell fresh. You know, the vagina cleans itself. So just in keeping that in mind, here are my six tips on how to keep your kitty smelling fresh. The number one thing I'm gonna tell the ladies to do to keep their kitty smelling fresh, you know, is to drink a lot of water. Like, water is good for the body, period. You know, like, water cleans out toxins, it cleans out all the bad stuff. You know, if you like soda, if you like all these different type of fruit juices, you know, all that stuff all the time is not good for you. So water just flushes everything out. You'll hear it a million times from people. It's always good to drink a lot of water. The second tip I'm going to give the ladies to keep their kitty cats smelling good is to drink cranberry juice. Now cranberry juice is good for the human body period but you know once that cranberry start you know flowing through there and getting everything all cleaned out like it's lit. So there's a specific type of cranberry juice that I drink. Um, unfortunately, the supermarket did not have it this morning and that really annoys the crap out of me because I love this cranberry juice. Um, I'm gonna have a picture of it here if you guys are interested in looking at it and I'll have maybe a link for it in the description box in case anybody wants to check it out and order it for themselves or see where it's available near them. Um, make sure that you guys are drinking pure cranberry juice not juice cocktail it has to be pure cranberry now i'm letting y'all know right now pure cranberry it doesn't taste the best i don't know if you want to do a shot of it a day or drink a glass of it a day whatever it floats your boat but it is good to drink pure cranberry now for anybody that's curious about how the whole cranberry juice thing works to make your you know kitty like smell good or just be fresh or just be cleaned out cranberry juice is packed with nutrients that help fight off infections on the body and like treat health issues. For example, UTIs, urinary tract infections for anyone that's not sure what that is. Um, you know, UTIs are about bacteria in the vagina and there are nutrients in cranberry juice that help fight off bacteria so that there's no bacteria sitting on the urinary tract within a woman. So it's good to drink cranberry juice frequently so that, you know, it can help fight off bacteria if there is any bacteria down there. The third tip I'm going to give the ladies and how to keep your kitty smelling good is going to be pineapples. You know, the little pineapple chunks or if you want to take a whole pineapple and chop it up yourself however you want. On it um pineapples to me seemingly i've used pineapples i've been doing the whole pineapple thing for a while now for years now and it's always had a good result with me like you know especially if you're like sexually active and stuff like that pineapples can definitely do wonders for you sis i'm just saying you know in pineapples any kind of fruit they're good for you like you know how people say you are what you eat like in this instance like it matters like if you're sitting there drinking a bunch of soda eating a bunch of sweets and stuff like that like if you're sitting there eating a bunch of junk, your vagina is going to smell like junk. Whereas if you're eating healthy, your vagina will smell healthy. The fourth tip I'm going to give the ladies and how to keep your vagina smelling good, and this is more of a warning than anything, do not douche. Like, I don't care what anybody tells you. Don't, that summer's eve, anything you got to shove up you and it tells you, oh, it'll make you smell like lavender down there. Oh, it'll make you smell like strawberries down there. That is messing with your pH balance, the smell of your vagina. Like, I'm sure a lot of girls that have used that summer's eve and have used these douches, I'm sure they've noticed a funny smell. When you start to notice a funny smell after using the summer's eve or using the douches or whatever, that's because your pH pH is unbalanced and you don't want that to happen. That causes a smelly cat. Nobody wants a smelly cat. Smelly cat, smelly cat. Like 
I said in the beginning of the video, the vagina is a self-cleaning oven. You do not need something that's going to help clean your vagina. It cleans itself. And ladies, just so you know, a vagina is supposed to smell like vagina. It's, it's supposed to smell like vagina. It's not supposed to smell like cherries. It's not supposed to smell like strawberries or lavender soaps. It's supposed to smell like vagina. As long as there's not a fishy odor smell coming from you, then you're good, sis. The fifth tip I'm going to give the ladies and how to keep your vagina smelling good, keep your kitty smelling good, is regular doctor's visits. Especially if you're sexually active, ladies, like, you have to go get checked. Like, you have to go to the OBGYN, gynecology doctor, whatever you like to call it. You have to go get checked. It is important that you guys go at least every year to get tested for STDs, HIV, AIDS, whatever it is that you you do when I go I get tested for everything I want everything I want the works it's especially important to go when you're sexually active because believe me when I say a lot of these men lie about the last time they got checked or if they've ever gotten checked a lot of these men don't get checked until something is dripping or falling off of them you know all these niggas will rely on the OBGYN results of the last girl they had sex with like my guy just because her results came back good does not mean your dick is good like just go get checked. Like, I just don't understand why these men can't take their asses down to the clinic or down to wherever it is they go and just go get checked. Like, don't rely on my results, my guy. Like, go get yourself checked. You grown. You grown enough to sit there and have sex with a woman? You should be grown enough to go get yourself checked. So ladies, go get checked, go to your doctor, schedule a visit. I know it's annoying, I know it's invasive. I absolutely dread going to the OBGYN, but I feel great knowing that everything's good to go and I'm ready to bust it open for a real nigga. Hey, hey, hey. No, I'm just kidding, that's not even my lifestyle, but you know, I'm just letting y'all know. Go get checked for yourself, sis. You know, forget him, but just go get checked for yourself so that you can be good. My sixth and final tip for the ladies and how to keep your kitty smelling good is cotton underwear. Now, if any of you ladies are like me, you know I love the Victoria's Secret lingerie, Savage Fenty lingerie. Like, I love some nice lace, you know, panty, thong, whatever. But you know, we can't wear those all the time because things like that, you know, constantly having a thong yoked up your vagina and stuck up there like that, like, you know, that can cause infection. You know, the rubbing of everything to get like... That can cause bacteria, that can cause yeast infections, you know. So when you go to bed at night, you know, every once in a while during the day, like you have to wear cotton underwear. Also, you know, your vagina has to breathe. You know, even though the cotton underwear is good, sometimes, you know, you gotta go commando and not have any underwear on. So like when you go to bed at night, you know, sometimes don't wear underwear and just let her breathe because she needs to breathe as well. You no, know, you running around with the tight jeans, you know, the leggings, the, you know, she's all packed up in there. Like she needs to breathe, sis. So, you know, once in a while at night, you know, don't wear underwear, just be spread eagle. You know, especially if you sleep by yourself, just be spread eagle, just let her go, just let her breathe, let her take in all the air. But yes, those are my six tips in how to keep your kitty smelling good, sis. You know, um, if you guys want any more tip videos on something regarding feminine hygiene, let me know. I will for sure do a video like that. I like the hygiene videos. I like talking about girl stuff and stuff like that because, like, it's girly. Make sure you guys keep subscribing to my channel. Like this video. Comment below. See you guys soon.